Well, did you know that March is also known as Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month? And we are on your side right now to discuss this very important topic. And this afternoon, we have Dr. Swarup Vita, who is a gastroenterologist at Brookwood Baptist Medical Center. He's joining us virtually right now. How you doing, Doc? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me, Sheldon. Hey, well, as we get going, just kind of clear the air a little bit. Some people want to know, what is colorectal cancer? That's a great question. So colorectal cancer is uh, a cancer that arises from the lining, from the inner lining of your colon uh, or rectum um, uh, that starts out as an abnormal growth of what we call polyps, which come from errors in the way that cells reproduce in the lining of the colon. These uh, errors lead to little growths uh, called polyps, um, and these polyps can turn into cancer over time. Yeah, well, you said polyps. What, what, what are the polyps? What, what do they look like? What are they? Yeah, they're little kind of almost like mushroom-like growths on the surface of the colon. Um, usually when we find them, they're fairly small and uh, able to be removed from the colon without any issue. Sometimes they can grow to be much larger and more complicated. Um, and uh, that's when we know they're sort of on the verge of turning into a cancer. Yeah, what, what can cause this? Do we know? That's a uh, good question as well. There's a variety of factors and we haven't completely pinpointed the cause, but we do know that there are both genetic and lifestyle factors that can contribute to the development of colon cancer. So um, genetic uh, causes include uh, numerous syndromes that have been identified, um, but a vast majority of the colon cancers occur sporadically. And we think a lot of these can be uh, associated with lifestyle factors such as smoking, excess alcohol use, um, a sedentary lifestyle, and uh, uh, consuming foods and beverages that are associated with obesity. Yeah, interesting. Uh, so what are the treatment? What's the treatment out there for this? Yeah, so the best treatment for colon cancer really is prevention, mm -hmm. okay? And so the, um, the, in addition to kind of adhering to good lifestyle um, uh, modifications, eating a good healthy diet, staying very active, avoiding smoking, um, is getting your colonoscopy and getting screened for colon cancer. There are uh, multiple options for getting screened, such as non-invasive stool tests, as well as colonoscopy. Um, our uh, um, professional societies really recommend colonoscopy as the gold standard for screening for colon cancer for most patients that can tolerate this procedure, uh, mainly because of that window of opportunity that we have to remove polyps before they turn into cancer. Um, whereas a lot of the other screening tests will uh, largely only find, um, find the problem once it becomes a cancer or once it's a very advanced polyp that can be more complex to remove. Uh, real quickly, as we close this out, when should we start getting screened? When, when, when's the right time for that? For the average risk patient, um, you're going to start screening at age 45, okay? If you have any family history of colon polyps and first degree me family members or any family history of colon cancer, you really should be getting screened uh, uh, earlier, at the latest at age 40 and uh, possibly earlier if your family members were very young when they were diagnosed. A lot of good information right there, Dr. Swarup Vita right there, uh, gastroenterologist. Thank you so much for your time. Really good job. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, sir. All right. We'll see you on the other side of the break with more right here at noon.